Hello, I'm Mike Yanni with GetPackets.com and what we're going to do today is learn how to use the Case Pilot Protocol Analyzer along with Wireshark to analyze application performance issues. Now one of the things I wanted to point out here is that the trace file that we're looking at is just over two gigabytes in size. So it's an extremely large trace. It's basically been captured off of one of my capture to disk appliances using Wireshark. And what we're going to do is we're going to analyze this for a poor performance. So the first thing I'm going to do is you can see my trace file up here is I'm going to pull up this view of bandwidth over time. Now one of the things you should note is that how quick this was to give me a throughput graph for this two gigabyte trace file. One of the things we see right away here is that we've got about 5.7 megabits per second and that's the spike maybe I'm concerned with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that spike and then what I'm going to do is overlay this view of network usage by traffic type to see what was causing that spike. As we zoom into this trace file we can see that sp specific spike generated about 14 megs of traffic and it happened about uh, 6 19 p.m. and we can see again what the applications were that consumed this and we can see that this is a green spike indicating that was web traffic so one of the things I'd be concerned with again is you know what was causing that spike who was doing it what websites were they going to etc so I'll highlight that spike and then I'll go down here to another view that is going to show me web download time and rate by object so as I drag that and drop that on top of the spike, this drills into all of the object URLs that were being loaded, how many times they were being hit, what the average download time was, what the average download rate in bytes per second, as well as the average size. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by size by clicking on this box, and I can see basically the top talker here, about 27 megs of data, was for this specific URL. Now as I expand this I can see that this is a uh, IPA package which is commonly used by iPhone and uh, iPad and we can see that the the actual host was apple.com so what was happening here is again this user was downloading uh, most likely to their phone or to their iPad an application as it seems so the next step really is is to analyze this application and potentially poor performance here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select on that specific file and say send this to Wireshark. Now what that's going to do is it's going to actually take that packet trace for this specific user, for this specific download, and allow me to look at the individual packets that made up that transfer. So now that we have the trace file into Wireshark, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze this trace file uh, from a performance perspective. We want to find out you know, why this uh, download was slow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the statistics tab and load up IO graphs. Now what the IO graphs are going to allow me to do is, is quite a few things actually and one of my favorites in looking at application response time is called TCP in-flight data. So I'm going to type in tcp.analysis.bytes in flight and one of the things I'm going to do with this as well is I'm going to change this from packets to tick to bytes per tick because we want to see how much data is on the wire and I'm going to change the granularity of this down to 10 milliseconds. Now what this does now if I zoom all the way over to the beginning of this trace is I can see when that first uh, HTTP GET goes out as well as the actual data unacknowledged TCP data on the wire ramping up and you see how we ramp up here from zero seconds uh, into one second of the trace and we we have a, a pretty steady what I would call an invisible line at about 32 k this is showing me that the application is actually sending out about 32 K on the wire now as I scroll over here one of the things you'll see is is a number of these gaps where there's nothing going on at all right so there's no data being sent uh, on the wire at all uh, and it looks at like it's about uh, 200 millisecond delays uh, but if we look over here at about 4.6 seconds one of the things we can see is is quite a long delay and then we can see TCP slow start or that flow control start ramping up to about 32k again now this is something again I'm suspecting that we have a, a pretty serious issue at about 4.6 seconds into this trace file so if I scroll into this trace and we see at about 
uh, 4.5 seconds, which is pretty much right where our graph was, we see a bunch of errors, right? And what these errors are, again, are TCP duplicate acts, and they're coming from the 10.0.0.1 going to 20.0.0.1. Now, I, I scrubbed the IP addresses here to protect the innocent, but basically what this is is the actual Apple device that's sending out retransmissions back to the Apple server. Now, if we scroll down here even further, we can see again the zero window and TCP windows update that is indicative of, again of what we saw in our in-flight graph of the TCP window ramping up. Thanks again for watching the video. Again, my name is Mike Canny with GetPackets.com. Take care.